Hi, welcome to The Shooting Coach. I'm Coach Troy, 24-year veteran basketball trainer and shooting instructor. And on this particular video, what I want to do is I want to help shooters understand proper hand position. So as a shooting instructor, typically what I do is when I work with shooters, I try to identify on the ball where the valve stem is. The valve stem is where you air the ball up, and if you notice, it's centered directly in the vertical attributes of a basketball. So how I teach players is I teach them to center that between the index and middle finger. If typically when I ask players, you know, what's the center of your hand, they logically go to the middle finger because it's the third finger in from each side. But what I try to do is I try to let them see spacing. So if you take this hand, I could actually insert another finger there. So if I inserted one, two, three, and then three more here, then now the center space would be here. So if I'm lining my hand up, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna center it with the valve stem in the middle, so I'm gonna be right there laying off. And then when I put the ball in my hands, I'm gonna be down more on the pads. There's just a small little pocket, but we're not jacked up really high. You know, a lot of times they just say on your fingertips, when really the ball sets down in your hands, there's a little bit of pocket, but you're resting on the pads of your thumb and basically where your calluses areas are. So some shooting instructors go, well, I teach middle finger, I teach middle finger, I teach index finger. What they mean is, they teach kids to put their index finger here on the valve stem, and some teach to put their middle finger on the valve stem. Now here's my personal theory. I like to teach where you split the valve stem. The, the valve stem. However, my personal theory is, what's ever most comfortable and whatever you get the most results with, go with. So I tell my students, if you can drop the ball and kick it in 80% of the time, then drop the ball and kick it in. Now personally, I'm gonna teach splitting the valve stem, because that gives me nice balance in my hand. And then I'm going to add my offhand so when I come up that ball centered. I got a small little pocket here resting on the pads of my fingers. And now when I come through as I come up, that ball is going to come and roll off that index and middle fingers I follow through and it gives me that rotation. So for example, I'm going to grab the shooting coach ball. So if you haven't seen this before, this is a shooting ball that I invented and it's designed for right-handed shooters and left-handed shooters. This this center stripe here helps you work on your release. So if you get proper release, this ball will spin, stay straight. If you get a wobble, use your offhand, the ball will wobble. If you shoot kind of flat, it'll stay low. Or if you don't get enough rotation, it'll be a knuckleball. It won't blend and turn orange. Also, it shows proper hand position. So identified on the ball for a right-handed shooter is it shows your split, but then it shows the valve stem, how you're split. Or if you go to left hand, it shows you the same thing, hand centered in the ball. So what it's designed to do is help you get your hand set so now you're centered right down the middle. So you can see I'm centered down the middle and that's identified by this vertical stripe. So when I come up and release, now that stripe is staying straight. So as a shooter, what you wanna do, the best way to start, especially for you parents maybe helping young kids, is don't worry about going out on the perimeter and getting up a bunch of shots yet. If you need to still work on foundation, one is you may take this product right now maybe about five, six feet away from the basket is I'm gonna work on centering my shooting hand, getting underneath it, and maybe just shooting with my one hand. So with the one hand, what I wanna do is, um, if my hand's here, especially if you're young, what'll happen is that ball will roll out. So what typically happens when you're working with younger kids is they may set their hands, and when they go one hand, they're good if they're here, but normally when they pick it up two hands, they may be in this position. So this ball helps you by getting underneath it first. We're gonna do so many shots just working on this release. And then later I'm gonna come back, set my hand, and I'm gonna set here, then bring my hand to it. And you can do that with a regular ball. Work on building that foundation, maybe shoot, what I try to tell kids is shoot, hit five in a row, then take a step back and progress back, just with your shooting hand, then start back up, add your off hand, shoot five, work back to the free throw line, do that at different spacing distance around the court, and then work on free throws. Free throws is an isolated position where you can work on getting your hand set in that proper position, splitting the valve stem, getting underneath it and then work on your release and rotation. Then from there you can start working on the moves. So work on those attributes of proper hand position, shooting hand position, and then next week I'll come back and I'll show you the proper off hand position and we'll help you build your shooting floor from there. So yeah, if you want more training videos, if you're on Facebook, go ahead and just like us. Make sure you follow our channel or if you're on YouTube, make sure you subscribe below. If you got any comments or want any specific information, just shoot us a comment, shoot us a message. We'd be more than happy to answer those questions for you. So we'll see you next time on The Shooting Coach.